All right, so starting off with the 1953 Jefferson nickel. Now this is the proof version of the coin, so it, you can see it's got that mirror-like finish, very detailed and shiny. That is because it is the proof coin. And you can see here on the coin slab, it says DDO, double die obverse. So that's what you wanna look for. Here's an image of doubling taking place on the 1953 proof. So look for doubling on the lettering of the coin. You can really see it here on the E and the W there. So look for that doubling on the 1953 proof Jefferson nickel. Now this coin here is graded at a proof 67, so that will give it a lot of value as well. And this coin sold for over $300, 300 bucks. Now here's another mint error. This is really cool. You can see that it, you know, it looks like it's been in the ground or you know environmentally damaged. However, this coin is actually a mint error. It is graded only at a very fine 20, so it doesn't have a high grade at all. As you can see, it's not in the best condition. But this coin was actually struck on a one cent planchet. So essentially what that means is that this nickel was struck on a penny planchet. So a nickel on a penny. That's why you only got the copper color of the coin there. And this coin did sell for over $430. Now for a 1953 D mint mark, this is graded at a mint state 67. And this coin sold for over $15,000 because of that high grade. Now keep in mind, if you have a 1953 nickel and it's you know been circulated and scratched up, it doesn't have any types of errors, it's not gonna be worth much at all, but the high grades and the errors are what's gonna give them a lot of value. Now for the 1953 no mint mark, again, high grade coin graded at a mint state 66. This coin sold for over $7,000. Now if we move back onto the proof coin, this is graded at nearly close to a perfect grade, a proof 68 deep cameo, but this coin does not have any types of errors. It's just got that high grade, which makes it extremely valuable. This coin sold for over $15,000. And then for the 1953 S, now this coin is graded at a mint state 65. So again, the high grade is what gives the coin its value. And this coin sold for over $20,000. Now check out these other errors that you should always be on the lookout for in your pocket change or in coin rolls from the bank. We're gonna look at some different prices here, but real quick, this is how many they made in 1950 for the Jefferson nickel. So the 1950 no mint mark, they made 9.7 million. And then the 1950D is a really key dated coin here that you always wanna look for because they only made a little over 2.6 million of those coins. So here's an example of a 1950D. If we go to the reverse, you could see the mint mark there to the right of the coin. That is where you wanna look for the D mint mark. Now this is a very, very high graded coin here and that's why it's really valuable, of course, because it's also a 1950D as well. So it's a key date to look for. It's got some really nice toning on the coin also. Now this coin sold for over $17,000. It also has full steps on this nickel as well and I have discussed that in my other nickel videos, so be sure to go check those out on my channel. Now this is a really cool one. This one sold on eBay. Now this is a whole collection of Jefferson nickels from 1938 to 1961. So this person has all the nickels, even the silver nickels from 1942 to 1945. This whole collection here from 1938 to 1961, these coins sold for over $310. So that is pretty cool. If you fill up a whole book like this, which I'm about to show you my book here in a minute, then you're looking at a little over 300 bucks. So not too bad. And of course, it always depends on the coins conditions as well. Now here are some 1950 nickels that sold on eBay. As you see the top one there, that's what we just looked at, the book for over $300. And then we also see to the right, a row of 40 1950 nickels for over $280. Now we see this one that's graded in a coin slab by NGC. That coin sold for over $285 because of that mint state 67 grade, as well as having five full steps. So always be on the lookout for the 1950D Jefferson nickel. Now here is the 1950 Jefferson nickel with no mint mark. Now this one is graded at a mint state 65 with full steps and it only sold for a little over $90. However, if we look at the same exact coin, graded at a mint state 67 with full steps, 1950 no mint mark with some amazing toning to the coin. This coin sold for over $4,900. So it really does depend on the grade of the coin 
and other factors as well that we've discussed in numerous other coin videos on my channel. I've uh, actually done a whole video on what makes a coin valuable, so be sure to go check that out on my channel. And check this out. These are the ones that I actually need. I need the 38S, the 1939D, I need the 1942 no mint mark down. That's the non-silver one. I have that coin somewhere. I just can't find it. I don't know why I don't have that coin in here, but uh, I haven't been able to find it. 1943D, that would be the 35% silver one that I need. Now these ones, 1942P here, all the way, all these to 1945S, all these are 35% silver. So that one's not in the best condition, but it's still 35% silver. That one, really nice condition. Pretty sure Brian Hooper probably sent that one. So that is an awesome coin. Now for the 1950D, so I think this whole page here is full and let's see, the 1950D. Yep, Brian Hooper sent that one as well. That one is in excellent condition. That's the coin you wanna look for in your pocket change. Or just go to the bank, get some coin rolls from the bank and look for that 1950D. I also have tons of other nickels you should be looking for. Just go check those videos out on my channel. And then this one is full as well, 1954 to 1968. And then here, we have some missing proofs so I don't have those proofs listed right there 68 69 70 71 2 3 and 75 I do have the 74 proof that's pretty nice check out that coin love the proof coins man so detailed in design absolutely love the mirror like finish on them but uh, yeah awesome awesome coins so I don't need too many for the Jefferson Nichols but yeah if you got any of these coins especially the 1943 1942 1940 or 1939 and 1938 man I would love to have those coins if we could like trade something or something I don't know maybe you need some coins that I got in my collection maybe we can make a trade or something all right so here's the mintages of the 1955 nickel how many they actually produced you can see there in 1955 with the no mint mark that is the Philadelphia mint to Jefferson nickel and they only produced 7.8 million of those coins now, if you look there in the 1955D, you can see that they produced over 74 million, so a lot more for the 55D. So definitely a 1955 is just a key date to look out for anyways. You always wanna hold on to those because they only produce 7.8 million, and you can see how many in comparison around that date, 29 million, 117 million above that. So definitely hold on to the 1955. Now, here's an image of what is called a D over S mint mark so this is pretty cool guys this is something that you should definitely be looking for on your 1955 denver minted jefferson nickels now if you get a cheap little coin usb microscope you guys will be able to see these up close like this if you look there at the bottom image you can really see the top of the s going around the d which is awesome i mean you can really see the s going through there on the bottom image and then you can very faintly see it there to the left of the d on the top image there now here is a lower graded example of the 1955 D over S mint mark. So it's not a mint stated high graded coin or anything like that. It only sold for $19. However, if we look at this next coin, this is a very high graded example of the D over S mint mark, and this coin sold for over $3,700. So always be able to look out for the 1955 D over S mint mark. Now here's an example of some D over S mint marks that sold on eBay. You can see one is at a mint state 63 there to the right and it's sold for $49 on eBay. So if you guys have coins, you wanna see what they've sold for in the past, you can go to eBay sold listings and kinda of get a rough estimate of what your coin, based on its condition and things like that, could uh, possibly bring at auction. Now here's just an example of a very high graded 1955D. This only sold for $10. However, if you look at even a higher graded coin, this is a 1955D at a mint state 65. Plus, it's got the full steps. And this nickel here sold for over $6,400. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.